Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish Gaming, and uh, guess what? Hogwarts Legacy didn't get canceled. Remember how we weren't supposed to buy Hogwarts Legacy because J.K. Rowling was an awful person, and uh, therefore, if you play the game, you're a bigot and you'll get harassed off of Twitch. Well, apparently a lot of people didn't take that advice because it's one of the best-selling games of 2023. Uh, <laughs> actually, it might be the best-selling game. So this is coming from Forbes. Uh, we've got some other links out here. Hogwarts Legacy is beating Modern Warfare 3 as the best-selling game of 2023. Uh, this comes from Paul Tassi on Forbes, who is one of the few video game journalists I actually trust. I actually think uh, Paul knows what's up most of the time. I don't agree with him on everything, but he tries to do a journalism, and uh, I actually do respect him uh, for that. So we're going to talk about this. Please subscribe for more gaming news and uh, gameplay content here on clownfish gaming uh let's see we got an ign article too they seem kind of confused they seem kind of confused this wasn't supposed to happen right hogwarts legacies beating modern warfare 3 as the best-selling game of 2023 so the new rankings route from circina formerly mpd showing the top selling games of 2023 at least through the end of november Here's the chart in full, and there are a few different stories to extract from it. Number one, Hogwarts Legacy. Well, it's on a lot of platforms. And uh, it just came out for Switch, and we're going to talk about that because it's doing really, really well on Switch. It was doing really well on PC. Uh, you know, and we kind of figured this was going to happen. Shockingly, the Switch version isn't, from what I've seen of it, it isn't that terrible. I actually considered, originally I was going to do it as a joke, playing through Hogwarts Legacy on the channel on the Switch instead of the PC because everybody's already done the PC. But I'm like, I'm looking at the Switch version. I'm like, yeah, it's a little rough around the edges, but it's still essentially the same game. You know, they didn't have to nerf it as much as I thought they were going to. I mean, there's some, there some weird places where I guess they, they transition with like a, a static screen or an image or something. And, you know, so obviously they're pushing the Switch as hard as they can push it. And people said, yeah, you can like feel it buckling, you know, as it's trying to run Hogwarts Legacy. But overall... It's a pretty good attempt to recreate the PC game, uh, you know, on on very limited hardware. So yeah, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, which is getting slammed, by the way, is number two. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, number three. Spider-Man 2, number four. Madden 24, of course. Diablo 4, of course. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is number seven. Star Wars Jedi Survivor, pretty decent game, right? Uh, it's uh, number eight. Mortal Kombat 1, number nine. Not I was not impressed with Mortal Kombat 1. Starfield. Oh my God, Starfield. Starfield. Remember Starfield? Yeah. Resident Evil 4. This is good down here. Super Mario Brothers Wonder is uh, number 15. Street Fighter 6, 17. I, I would put Street Fighter 6 above Mortal Kombat 1 any day. Personally, Elden Ring is still hanging in there. Yeah. So uh, Tassie says, Tassie says, first, as it stands, Hogwarts Legacy, an original game from a high profile IP, is outselling Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, a rarity and close to impossible for a non-sequel like Pokemon, Red Dead Redemption, or Grand Theft Auto. So there was definitely a boycott going on here, I think. The last we heard from May 2023 was that Hogwarts Legacy had sold 15 million copies, and it seems likely that 20 million will be hit soon enough, uh, given that it hasn't happened already. Uh, yeah, if you go out to the Nintendo eShop, uh, it's on sale digitally. So you can buy it for $41 now. I, I seriously am considering like playing through the Switch version on the channel. You know, not the PC version because everybody's already done that. I don't know if anybody's actually playing through the Switch version because it's uh, kind of just a lesser version of the PC version. But um, it'd be kind of interesting, right? Uh, I think it would be because I, I didn't beat the PC version. I played a little bit of it, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Um, anyway, let me know. Let me know what you think. Uh, Modern Warfare 3 sales, however, are reportedly down from last year's Modern Warfare 2, which is not a huge shock given this uh, as close to an expansion for the last game, or as close to an expansion for the last game. Uh, as multiplayer has been well received. Yeah, it's getting all kinds of shit. The rest of the list, two console exclusives are next, showing off just how strong their sales are, Tears of the Kingdom and Spider-Man 2. Yeah, so they're only on one console, right? If they were on every console, if Tears of the Kingdom was available for everything, and Spider-Man 2 was available for everything. They would absolutely be outselling Hogwarts Legacy, but still pretty freaking impressive 
considering the game was basically blacklisted from the Game Awards and uh, a lot of video game news outlets were telling people not to buy it because they had to choke out uh, uh, J.K. Rowling. And it, it's only the game. This is what always got me about this. So people don't like the stuff that she said in regards to um, you know, gender, right? That's a whole nother discussion. I'm not going to... I'm not going to drag that into this video, but the thing is, is that like she makes her money from so many other places, but game journals thought if they could tank Hogwarts legacy, that it would somehow bankrupt her. I'm like, she's making more money off of butterbeer in the theme park, universal theme park, by the way, which also has Nintendo. And I guarantee you these game journals are going to go as soon as they can to Nintendo and you're still giving J.K. Rowling money in a roundabout way. Lego has Harry Potter stuff. Hershey's doing something with Harry Potter. Like, she's making more money from these other places. But sure, let's zero in on the video game. Just the video game, right? Uh, Diablo 4 and Modern Warfare 2 also make the list, meaning Activision has three out of the ten top-selling games. Yeah, of course they do. Of course they do. Uh, any bad news? Mario Wonder is pretty low for a high-profile Nintendo game. Yeah, I thought that was kind of weird. Super Mario Wonder is like the best Mario game to come out in a very, very long time. Very good game. But I don't know if it's because it's 2D, if people are like Mario'd out or what. And it comes right after the movie was doing so well. But, I, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. I think a lot of people are looking at it and they're like, oh, it just looks like new Super Mario Brothers Wii or whatever, you know, but it's not. It's, it's way better. Final Fantasy 16 also seems low for a big game. Even with the PlayStation exclusivity, it feels like it probably should have been higher. Uh, a lot of people disappointed with the game, you know, but that's interesting. Um, so this is IGN's take on it. They said that uh, Modern Warfare 2 is being beaten by Hogwarts Legacy. This was, uh, I think, a couple days before Tassie's article because they're beating everything now. Like, what the hell? Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, the rate is going as possible. That's how in the year of Hogwarts Legacy tops the U.S. charts for 2023. That would make this year the first time since 2008 that the number one spot wasn't held by either a Call of Duty or a Rockstar game. Wow. So what's happening here? Is Hogwarts Legacy just selling that well? Or is Call of Duty... We can't say that people actually buy this game, right? Is Hogwarts Legacy selling that well or is Call of Duty doing poorly this year? The answer, according to Circana analyst Matt Piscatella, is a bit of both. Speaking to IGN... Uh, he affirms that Hogwarts Legacy's performance has indeed been striking and has been bolstered further by the recent launch of the Switch version. Yeah, the Switch version, everybody's got a Switch, right? And if you're a parent, you're going to buy your kid the Switch version because it's the Switch, right? Just buy the Harry Potter game for the Switch this Christmas. In fact, it was the second best-selling game on the Switch in dollar sales, trailing only Super Mario Brothers. Wonder. Wow. So this is really uh, this is really interesting. Yeah, so it moved up the list since this one. This is through 1025. This is the full um, chart here. Yeah, I think we had a boycott going on. I think, well, one, the game isn't terrible. And uh, two, a lot of people bought the game. I think in part because of the outrage, I think that this game would have mostly come and gone and been kind of like, yeah, okay, it's a Harry Potter game, whatever. But because there was so much media attention, even if it was negative attention, I think that gaming journals actually helped sell more copies of it. And that was the opposite of what they intended to do. But again, we have the Streisand effect, or in this case, I guess the rolling effect. And uh, people are supporting this game. And yeah, she's not going to go broke, guys. She's got uh, a new Harry Potter series coming to HBO. They're going to build a new Universal theme park. And uh, I guarantee you, they're going to put Harry Potter in that. That's going to be in the UK. So they're definitely going to put uh, Harry Potter in that. And uh, she's not going to go broke. <laughs> she's probably making more money because of video game journos. So that's how that works, guys. That's how that works. If you want something to die on the vine, you just don't talk about it. And then it disappears. But uh, way to go. Way to go. So I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, please subscribe for more gaming content and gaming news here on Clownfish Gaming. Thanks for watching. If you like this content and want to see more, please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. And check out more videos on the channel, including Let's Plays in art and animation videos here on Clownfish Gaming.
Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume and don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to Brewster is eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh wait, she wait. was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a- Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my god, you got the axe. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Okay. <laughs> right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run him carrying trash. And you can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>